Good morning, friends. How are you all doing? My name is August. This is Cozy Rosie Reads. It is currently Wednesday morning. I have not been feeling super great lately, and I decided very spontaneously, like not even getting ready, to go and treat myself to a little self-care morning and doing things that bring me joy for no other reason than it brings me joy. I really need it right now. I've been very stressed lately. Uh, work has been a lot. I'm very busy, but I just also don't feel very much like motivation or inspiration or creativity to do my job right now, which is really hard. I want to feel inspired to create art and to do my job as an artist. And I'm just like, I feel like I'm just in a funk and I definitely am getting some stress acne. I'm breaking out and just trying to take care of myself. So I thought, what brings me joy? Okay, first off, fresh flowers bring me joy. So I got these beautiful like autumnal colored flowers today. I did also need some of my face wash because I'm almost out. So I got that. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to try the new iced apple cider oat macchiato, caramel macchiato. I don't even know how much is in here, like what all is, but it's amazing, my friends. It is so good. And I was like, we're just going to ball out today. Let's get a venti. And it has already <laughs> made my mood better and my day better. So like this was perfect. And now I'm in the parking lot of Goodwill um, because thrifting makes my heart really, really happy. And I need to, I don't know, I just need to like feel inspired. And sometimes for me, feeling inspired means like buying stuff, which sucks, very capitalist. But for me, it's like, I like finding used things. I love fresh flowers. I love treating myself to some coffee. I rarely ever go out and buy myself a drink or a coffee. So today just, I wanna make it a little special for myself. I've been so busy that I haven't had a social life lately, which is really hard. A lot of my friends who are also in the photography community, once it hits fall, it's like we don't exist to the world other than our job. It's so busy. We have a lot on our plates and I decided to make some plans with some of my photographer friends just so that way we can keep each other company and try to have some social life. It's always a chaotic, really busy season. So I'm just gonna treat myself, focus on myself today. So thank you so incredibly much for being here, friends. Let's go hop into some thrifting.
I have two bags worth of stuff reusable bags might I add and I really love what I picked out I feel like I got really lucky with this thrift haul it was a lot of fun perusing I spent a lot of time there so let's go through some of the stuff I got so first I went to clothes to try and find some like sweaters cardigans didn't have a ton of luck but I did end up finding <laughs> I can't show you this one but a dress that I really really love for those of you who are maybe new here welcome but um i am engaged my partner and i actually just set a date and got a venue for our wedding for next year and it's gonna be a september wedding i'm super excited and i already have my dress because i found it while i was thrifting with a friend just randomly in a vintage antique mall for 50 bucks and i was like i'm going to tailor the crap out of this dress but as a wedding photographer i've been working a lot of weddings this year this september and it's still super hot out and the dress i have is like long sleeves it's so pretty even when i tailor it i think i'm gonna keep long sleeves so i got this dress and either it's gonna be a reception dress like changing into something a little bit looser a little bit more like you can dance in it because my dress also has a super long train and Winston's here hi or this dress can be like a rehearsal dinner dress so I'm not gonna show the full thing but I will show you a little bit of the top detail I'm gonna tailor this a little bit but it has pearls on it basically everything wedding related that I'm gonna be wearing has pearls because I have a pearl engagement ring I love pearls so very cool um, unfortunately I only found one sweater but I love this sweater my friends it's so cute but no cardigans but yeah I got this like loose fitting brown sweater I recently did a test on myself for your personal color palette and since I have access to like Photoshop because of my job and what I do I just like put my face on all these different color palettes and came to the conclusion that I am definitely an autumn so this color is just like works really well with me I got a lot of brown stuff and then I got this kind of jumper so it's corduroy it has a stain which I definitely can get out because I I felt it which is gross but it's like crusty so I don't think it's completely forever stained. And then someone also like ripped the middle of it for like a little more saucy look, but it's actually really cute. So I'm gonna fix it up, maybe sew it back together because I don't really know why they put a slit like right there. <laughs> but we love to DIY, we're gonna fix it. And then I got this really nice, pretty, it looks homemade scarf in the same kind of color palette that works well for me. All my winter stuff is either black or white, so I'm like trying to get more colors that would suit my face and my hair and make things pop. So more of that autumn color, which works well for me as well. So it's really cute. I like the pom-poms. All right then, my friends, moving along. I did get some books, which I did show a little bit in that montage, but first one I, that caught my eye was Away by Amy Bloom, just because of this beautiful cover. Very autumnal feeling, but it takes place in the 1920s from New York's Lower East Side and the adventures and pleasures of the jazz underworld to the Alaskan frontier. I love both of those atmospheres so much so I'm very excited it's very short honestly any cover that has fruit on it is a yes for me and then we open up with July 3rd 1924 so got that one and then I also found a copy of In the Woods by Tana French or Tana French I've heard nothing but really wonderful things about Tana French's like mysteries suspense semi thrillers this is a bit chunkier and this is her debut and I've heard a lot of good things about this one and every time I've seen it I'm like oh this sounds so intriguing I think it'd be fun I think I even have it saved on my like audiobook want to listen list on Libby or something it's a thriller about three children who leave their small Dublin neighborhood to play in the surrounding woods hours later their mother's calls go unanswered when the police arrive they find only one of the children gripping a tree trunk in terror wearing blood-filled sneakers and unable to recall a single detail of the previous hours. 20 years later, a detective, the found boy, has kept his past a secret and that follows an investigation. So very curious about this one. feel like it would be a fun thriller. I don't own a lot of thrillers just because I tend to listen to them as audiobooks and they never really ever become five-star reads for me, but at Goodwill, the books are like 99 cents, so I thought, why the heck not? And then lastly, this one's so cool. It's Emma Brown, which is a novel from the unfinished manuscript by Charlotte Bronte, which is finished by Claire Boylan. So Charlotte Bronte passed away in 1855, 
and was working on this might have been her masterpiece. It's the 20 unfinished manuscript pages about a lost young girl, and it sat in wait for almost 150 years until Irish novelist Claire Boylan decided to finish it. So it's about a young girl, Matilda, brought by her father to a small girl's school in provincial England. The school, Fuchsia Lodge, is foundering, so its headmistress is delighted to welcome a new pupil. Oh, it just sounds so intriguing. Absolutely love this cover. I think this is great. I have yet to actually read any Charlotte Bronte, Emily Bronte. I have not read Jane Eyre. It's on my bookshelf though. Hopefully this winter, that'd be a really fun time to read some classics. Once it turns into fall and winter, I just really want to read more classics. So very happy about my little book haul. And then I found <laughs> this art piece. It's a print of like some glasses and books and a pocket watch. I don't, I, I love it. If you've seen my videos where I film in my corner with my bookshelf, I have something pretty similar to this where it's this old style painting print of like a lamp and it's all old books and that one has like a feathered quill as well. And so this one just fits that theme in my little bookshelf corner so well. Try not to get a glare, but it feels so autumnal. Oh, just so cozy to me. So I couldn't resist this one. I think I showed in the montage, there was another one that had more of like a stack of books with some somebody like writing. Um, so I had like the quill and the ink pot, but I like this one a lot. I love the glasses. It just feels really inspiring to me. You know, sometimes when I'm not in the mood to read, but I want to read, I put on a lot of like ambient videos and this just feels inspiring. Like I want this near my bed so I can look at it and be like, oh yeah, that's the pleasure of reading right here. So I'm very excited about this one. Also, you can see the reflection of Winston. He's in the cat tree. <laughs> And then I found this really cool stein. I was just really going for like autumnal stuff and I found this stein mug that has like a loon and corn, apples, pumpkins, a little carriage and a church. I was looking for something like this last fall. I was like, I want a mug that just screams autumn to me. And I know it's a stein, but I'm definitely gonna be drinking coffee out of this. Like it's so pretty and unique and I love it. It's exactly what I've been looking for. Just like a really cozy, autumnal mug. I own so many mugs, but I was, I've been looking for something like this for well over a year and my quest has been fulfilled and it's just so cute. <laughs> all of these colors together, my friends, I cannot express. So we have this, this, all the books and this, like it's fall. Okay. I'm going to share like two things that are like not as interesting, but then you got to stay for the last one because the last piece is, oh my gosh, I can't believe I found something like this. So first off, I got some winter boots because I need them. <laughs> I've had really bad luck. I've lived in Michigan in cold places my entire life. I also lived in Canada. I've never owned a good pair of snowshoes or just boots in general. When I was living in Toronto, it was snowy and icy all the time and I literally just wore my docks, which is so dumb. Don't wear Doc Martens on ice. Like there's no traction. And then I had a pair that every time I stepped outside in snow, all the wetness would actually soak up through the soles and my feet would be soaking wet. So I've never had good snow boots. These fit like a charm and they're so tall. They keep my legs actually warm. So I'm just praying that I have traction and that I won't get cold on the bottom of my feet and no liquid will seep through. But I don't think it will because this is like super rubber. Finally, got a pair of snow boots in preparation for winter this year. And then I got this pair of really cute loafers, cute little brown loafers with a heel but they're this like gorgeous brown and just makes me want to be like a little dark academia hoe, just like boop, 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 walking around in the fall with one of my cute little sweaters wearing all brown because I need to wear more brown apparently. <laughs> so these are really cute. Okay, are you ready for the piece? This is the piece that will define this haul for me. It is this stunning vintage dark green coat. Oh my, God, look at the lining. Stunning, stunning. Look at this. It's not gonna look good with what I'm wearing right now because I'm in my lazy clothes, but if I do my hair and makeup, it has like tiny little like cinched shoulders. Oh my gosh. Oh, beautiful gold buttons. 
beautifully deep pockets as well. Like if I wear all black or a dress, like it's so long. I don't know if I can back up any further, but not with this fit, my friends. Keep in mind, not with this outfit, but like maybe like a little hat, a little beret. It's so long. I'm so happy with what I have, what I've gotten. I don't know, I feel very like Gilmore Girls-esque right now. Getting into a little fall fall feeling. So that's my haul, my friends. Um, it was very, very, very successful. Had a delicious coffee, got some beautiful flowers. Am I feeling healed? Am I feeling cured of my like lack of inspiration slash not feeling super great? No. <laughs> Honestly, I came home and just felt pretty defeated still. I still feel pretty disconnected. I feel really tired and exhausted. And that honestly might be the majority of what I've been feeling lately is just feeling really exhausted, feeling really like overworked, pretty depleted, not really feeling 100% me. And, uh, you know, doing all of this, yeah, I'm happy. I'm so happy with the things I have, giving old things new homes, things that were discarded new homes. Like that brings me so much joy. Can we just do like a little photo up here? <laughs> This mug. I am feeling happy. I'm feeling autumnal. I'm feeling inspired for fall. But also I know that fall is my busiest season and I'm not cured, but I hope that this was fun. So I think this will be a one-off video, just like a little field trip, getting some fun things, going thrifting, trying to feel inspired by fall and get my life together a little bit. But all in all, it's just emotions. They'll pass but I'm really excited and grateful for the pieces that I found today. So thank you all so incredibly much for being here, friends. If you made it to the end, let's definitely comment some like fall leaves, some fall colors, anything autumn related. We're getting excited for fall here. And I can't wait to see you all again very soon for my next video. Stay cozy, my friends. Bye.